Hey guys, welcome back to Banjo Tooie. Here we are in the Isle of Hags at Pine Grove. About to go to Witchy World, cause it's one of my favorites. I hope you like it too. Because it's awesome, and you know we're gonna have a good time, and I really think so. Alright, let's just do it. Activate the warp at the entrance, and holy crap, look at the fun bags on that hose hand. Hello there, little darlings. Uh, have we met, lady? Not personally, but I believe you helped my husband out a while ago when we still lived on Three's Easy Peak. Oh, then you must be Mrs. Boggy. How is the big guy? Oh, a little older, a little fatter. He's given up sled racing and taken to watching his new widescreen TV all day. Lazy oaf! Anyway, I must be getting back home. I told my children Groggy, Soggy, and Moggy to meet me here. I don't suppose you feel like rounding them up for me? I just sent her voice all over the place, but that's what happens. Let's go up here and hit the cheeseburger switch. This is my favorite world, man. I'll just pop it back on the grill. And the punters will never know. Oh, I've been rumbled. Yeah, I got gotcha, you, buddy. Your secret is no longer safe. Now, first thing you want to do is shoot a grenade egg at this. Don't forget, it's a pain in the neck later if you forget. Danger, 1,000 gigawatts. Great Scott! You're done! I like those guys. And look at that. There's a little secret van door with a Jinjo behind it. Um, there was notes up there. Can I reach? Oh, wait. Yeah, wait, I see it. I see it. This little board, whatever it is. Witchy World is so much fun. I remember it used to kind of bother me because it could be a little more full of stuff because it's like this kind of gloomy, depressing former amusement park. But at the same time, it's still the best world. So right behind the tent, we got to find jam jars. But look at there's french fries. Do we stop for the potato? Of course! Behind it is a switch. Ah, sheesh. Someone found out the switch. I hate customers. Always wanting things. Let's talk to him. We need some french fries for something later. Hurry up and order, weirdos. I'm a busy guy. So I see we had to fight our way through this crowd of customers you have. Quite the comedian, huh? How about some of Salty Joe's limp, salty fries? Gross. Give me some fries, Joe! Yeah, fries coming right up. Uh, have a nice day, I guess. Well, I knew he would say that. Yep, me too. Hmm, I'd better start frying up some more, because I'm all out. Yes, you'd better prepare for the impending rush. Why, you cheeky. Ah, there's a fortune teller tent where Grunty will actually tell your fortune. But these guys, if you blast them with a grenade egg... Oh, you get a ticket for Conga's Big Top. Yeah, Conga's in this game. Straight out of the first world of Banjo-Kazooie. And there is the Dive of Death. More on that later. But first, let us go around the perimeter. And get some more... Tickets for the Big Top. You can run into this as a van later, because your transformation in this world is a van. The Star Spinner. More on that later as well. Let's just activate the warp and get these notes. Also, there's a Jinjo up here. Might as well get it now before we turn the power back on. That's Mumbo's ability. Dodge him, Doom. What color? What color? It's blue. Number two. Jumbo. All right. There's jam jars. That's a very important thing to get right there. No kid. Sometimes there's a fat kid over there. Remember, Groggy, Soggy, and Moggy. We gotta find him. Shoot an eggs to fence bear and or bird and bear. So why not fire them in the air? Up, C gives you the aim in sight. Then press Z to shoot from height. That'll be all. Whatever. He still hasn't bonked his head. When you're gonna do it, jam jars? When you're gonna jam your jar? <laughs> I like those enemies. Bleah. Hey, look at this guy. Nah, we don't really need his burgers right now. We'll talk to him maybe a little bit later. Ah, what the heck? Why am I still in town truck? Why can't I stop the town truck? Jeez. Eat it. I usually wait until I'm a van, but why not? Me want honeycombs. 
Look at these Christmas lights, how out of place they are. There we go, four tickets to the big top. I think that's the maximum. Um, there's a jam jars up here somewhere behind the tent. This is where we learn the split up ability, plus a work pad. Never want to pass those up. Yeah, I know, I'm trying to get the ability from you. Hi again, dude. Separate skills are what you lack. So let's get Kazooie out of your pack. Find your pads is what you do. Pressing A makes one become two. Attention! Or dismissed. Is it dismissed or attention? It could be either one. It's just gibberish. All right. No, you're not gonna do that. Come on, Banjo or Kazooie. Whoever can make it up here first. Okay, we're good. Ah, eh, we're not good anymore. Get back up there. Oh, uh, maybe we should go into bird mode. Yes, yes. All right, we're good. Those are boots we don't have yet, but there's a Jinjo. The second purple one. And this is where we want to check out first, because we can do the most stuff over here right now. Oh yeah, the music change for this area is so neat. But this is one of those strength test your might kind of things. You got to do three moves. Your basic ground pound, whatever that move is called. Then the drill peck one that we learned in the previous world. And then a grenade egg for your final hit. And apparently there's a timer for all this. And there you go, we rang the bell. And what do we get? A jiggy, of course. Easiest one of this world, really. I like the way Banjo climbs. One of those slightly satisfying things. Satisfying for reasons you don't quite understand. Blah. There's another note behind the other door, but first, I want to get the Achinjo. Dude. Dude. What is this instrument? It's a guitar of some kind, but what kind is it? Tenjo! Three of six of the red guys! Get that other note. And... Well... Do we go into the crazy castle first? Yeah, why not? Wumba is right over here, too. I was, wasn't sure if I wanted to do that first or this. But we're here. Let's do it. Remember this? This is what the puzzle was for this area. Back at Jimmy Wiggy's place. Out of my way, Nimrod. Let's do our first split up. Oh, I know. Wow, you can't even speed up at the text either. Not annoying at all. That's like I remember playing this game. Just silently enjoying myself, and my dad would be like, Turn that crap down! It's annoying. Oh, whoops. I need Kazooie. Kazooie's the only one who could spit eggs. I forgot I had to blow open that grating. Whoa, look out. Uh, don't hit me, please. I gotta aim a shot. Go away! Hey, crud, at least I got the shot off. Let's get in there. To safety, Kazooie. Oh, I missed the honeycomb. Eh, what a maroon. Pump Master 2. <laughs> so step on the switch, press A on the cloud, and now we're Banjo. Actually, there's a move here for Banjo himself to learn, and it's like his most useful move. It's both an attack and it sets up an ability to double jump, and. Rawr! I'm a Minjo, arch enemy of the Jinjos. Yeah, that's a new thing of Banjo Tooie. What's up, dude? Banjo's now got an empty pack, so why not use it to attack? Just press B and round it swings, bumps and bruises to bad as it brings. That'll be all. Yeah. This is such a good move. Out of my way. It creates a double jump scenario. Like that. You can cover some crazy distance with it. And get the things that you're not supposed to get to. And that is some interesting game design that creates replay value. Happy accidents, kids. Bob Ross taught us all about it. See how? I didn't even touch the ground. I was able to stay airborne straight to the switch. 
But let's pump up that bouncy castle and then go inside. There's two mini games. This is Banjo Kooie, after all. A lot of jiggies are behind mini games. For better or for worse, but they're fun. Quick, enjoyable, and refreshing. Actually, well, I don't know. Just felt like something to say. Now let's go bump into Kazooie and become one. So in the castle, there are two mini games: one for both Banjo and Kazooie together forever, and one for Kazooie alone. Since we're together, might as well do that one first. Oh man, I want to jump around in here. It looks so bouncy and fine. Oh yeah! Welcome to the Balloon Burst Challenge. You have 60 seconds in which to score 50 points. No, I don't want to hear the rules. I got the idea. Yeah, so this thing, it's gonna be really a noisy, so sorry. I might turn it down, I don't know. But red balloons are worth one, green are worth two points, and blue are worth three. So you just pretty much hold down the fire button and try your best to get 50 points. If you stay near the top, you might have a better chance of getting more balloons since they all float up that way. It's so obnoxious, dude. I see what my dad was saying. If you're not actually playing the game, this is super annoying. Crap! I always found it weird, too, that all this stuff is run by Grunty herself, and she's not af afraid to give you a jiggy. Maybe she's not as evil as you would think. But we got the 50. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Shut up, Kazooie. 69 points. Oh, yeah. And then it appears on top of the castle, and you could actually wait to collect it until you beat the other minigame. So let's go do that, actually, and then we'll just collect both at the same time. I like that western backdrop. I do not want to play again. Please do not ask me again. Thank you. Get me out of this crazy place, cause I'm losing my mind. Crazy Castle Lobby. Alright, Kazooie, it's your time to shine. With the Super Banjo Code active, you're gonna run at the speed of light. It, has, it, is, bleh, it is actually kind of crazy to control. But now this door is open. This is a hoop hop minigame. Hoop hop? Hip? Hip hop anonymous? Choose hoop hurry game. Welcome to the hoop hurry challenge. You have 60 seconds in which to score 30 points. And now it's the exact same as the previous one. It's just hoops instead of balloons. The point values are all the same though. Oh, I want that. There we go. So hopefully you guys are doing okay today. And tomorrow too, and for the rest of days. That's impossible. Everybody has a bad day once in a while. Some people have them more often than others. And other people say it's all perspective. I don't know about that nonsense. What do we need 30 points? I already got that. Apparently they thought this was harder than it is. Either that, or it's just a bunch of bundled madness, and there's no order to it at all. As the music wouldn't have you believe. It's a good craziness, though. Ah, oh, I almost got 60 points. There we go, two jiggies. That puts us at three once we swoop them up. So now what's next? Probably Wumba. We have to turn into a van. There's a lot of things we have to pay coins, and the back of the van has coins in it. Oh, would you shut your trap, you bony witch. Well, we're done in the crazy castle, and that's good. That basically makes this whole western area of witchy world complete. We got the move, we got the, the Jinjo, we got the notes, we got the everything. Dual hut! <laughs> I love that noise. It doesn't get old. 
Oh, that's the pump room. That's not where we want to go. But we do. Now get out of the way, Minjo. Or whatever you. I thought he was going to get me. Give me my jiggies. 24. Oh. This is a bouncy thing, isn't it? I don't know why, but that impresses me, considering it's the N64. I didn't know you could make things bounce. So, although I suppose I should know, having just seen Mrs. Boggy. All right, let's climb up here, because Wumba is right nearby. Look at those stars. Doesn't that remind you of, like, a Windows 95 screensaver? Or was it 98? I want to hit that button. Out of my way, dude. All right, Banjo. Watch those feet. Yeah, you can see so far in the distance. Normally on an actual N64, you just see grainy blurriness. This thing is cool, too. I like riding this little platform. Look at that camera angle. Pretty awesome stuff. But before we ride that to the other side, let's make a leap of faith towards Wumba. Oh, yeah, Super Banjo lets me land right on it. And lucky for us, the Globo is actually right in here. Oh. What's up, Wumba? You have Globo. Want to give to Humba? Yes, as always. Thank you for shopping at Wumba's. Jump in the pool to become an automobile. I always wished we had an ability to morph into something, like Animorphs or Transformers. Wumba call this van. No crap. Van carries much coins. Press B for the horn. Got it. Let's go pay our dues. Because we have to. It is kind of a nuisance about this world. There is an instance where you have to become a van, and then later on, no matter how you spin it, out of my way, dude, you have to come back into Banjo and Kazooie, and then you have to turn into a van again. Because there's a two-part process for something in Space World later on. Yeah, so we run up to these pay here things and poop out a silver dollar. And then the ride is now open! The Inferno. Step right up and get your little footsies burnt. Don't mind if I do. Sounds riveting. Yeah, how's it taste? You can't beat a van. Eh, come on! Open up. Alright. You actually do want to come here as a van first because there's a special van tour. And you can ride on lava, because these are tires made out of something. Open up, so you beep in front of these things, and you get a Cheeto page. Over the lava and through the woods to the Globo for Mumbo. <laughs> like, I would insane. I got the banjo craziness. Activate the thing. Wow, I see. The fat child. He wants hamburgers. But we actually can't rescue him. Hey, there's the girl, too. She wants french fries. But we have to be normal banjo and kazooie. So let us go do our other van duties. Namely, we have to stop by Space World, or whatever it's called. I call it Space World because it's space themed. That's why I like this place. It's four different quadrants and each one is a different theme. That's a fortune teller thing that actually gives you hints on how to find jiggies. I think. And there's also a very rare message you can get from it. But I forget how that works. Here's the treble clef. 315 notes. Um, well, we activated the warp. We're good. Big Al's burgers. Oh, this thing. This is why you wanted to grenade egg this. Hey, look, I'm in the United States. Now I'm in England. Open up, Mr. Jinjo. We're getting a lot of blues. And that's a good thing. All right, I think we're done with the van for now. We gotta come back with to Space World, but first we need Mumbo to power up the, uh, the Dodgem Dome, or whatever it's called. It's a bumper car theme, minigame thing. And I approve of that, so let us become Baron Bird once more. Wumba's Wigwam. Is it Wigwam or Wigwam? Wham-bam, thank you, ma'am. 
David Bowie said that in some song. Surrogate City? No, Suffragette City. What, what? I say surrogate. What is happening in my brain? Uh, nobody ever knows. Not even you. Huh? Who's talking? Witchy world. Everybody's going insane. To Mumbo's skull we go. Back at the inferno. There's actually something we could do that is actually related to burning your toesies. Well, first things first, where's that lady who wants the french fries? We could actually save Mumbo for later. Because he's got a lot to do in this world, actually. The fat kid, don't even worry about him. There's nothing we could do right now. But this one. Oh, I'm starving. Get me some fries and I'll leave quietly. Wow, you've got fries. Can I have some? Can I? Can I? Yes, you can have them. If you would just shut up. Hey, it's that way from Boggy. Oh, thanks for finding the little scamp for me. There's still another two to find, though. Yeah, yeah, there's a guy we gotta give him a what for, and then there's the fat one. But for now, we split up and take it to him. Yeah, look at those banjo jumping skills. To the cloud. This is needed to get to the jiggy up top. Actually, it's not needed at all if you watch a speedrun. They do it with both Banjo and Kazooie. They don't even split up. And they just do some crafty slope jumps. But this is how you're supposed to do it. Split up. Oh, this is dangerous, too. You gotta get the speedy shoes, although you probably don't even need it. Um, if you hug the wall, these guys shouldn't damage you. Ah, crud. Yeah, I gotta be real careful here. This is actually much harder with Super Banjo Code active. Yes, okay. Stay on the inner wall. Two more hits and I'm dead. Crap! Come on, Kazooie. I have full faith in you! Yes. Oh, yeah. oh man, that was close. Alright. Now, don't overshoot this jump. You get way more height as only Kazooie off of those pads, too. Yeah! Alright. That actually seems like a good halfway point. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time for the mumbo business. Take care.